Mission 15, they swarm like clouds and desperately seek the hunter's dark blood. Guy Puts for the Hunters, Chapter 11, Clause 9. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm no guy 21 welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry 2. In the last episode, we entered Demonville. After saving Lucia, of course. Of course, in order to enter Demonville, we need to face off against Phantom again. Why he's back, I don't know, but he's no longer no more. Let's see, do I need to upgrade anything? Or should I upgrade things is a better question. I mean, I could always just save money. Ah, fuck it, more HP. Let's begin! Okay, so we're back here where we fought against Phantom, so let's all grab the orbs in the area. Uh, yeah, I'll grab this. See anything else for me to grab, or...? Okay, that's still locked, so can't go back. Let it be opened. Let me guess, this is either survive three minutes or kill everything within three minutes. That's gonna be annoying if it's uh, kill everything within three minutes. Really, buddy? You get you didn't get touched by the other swings, but you managed to clip me? I see how it is. Let's see if I can make this go a little bit faster. Nice try, little shits. Now they scared you. Now take care of this flying douchebag. Oh, great, Abyss Goats. Who needs to worry when you have Devil Trigger? And a good old rocket launcher. When in doubt, just uh, combat roll your way to victory by using good old rockets. Really? You know, I really appreciate it if you fuckers would actually, you know, be launched whenever I do something. But now we gotta break your freaking stagger first.
Okay, so it is a uh, kill everything within the first couple of minutes. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Or is it? Oh, hey, you guys. It's nice to see that the original boys are back. Oh, fuck it. Just take care of the guys on the ground first. RP feathers can be dodged. Of course, just using Devil Trigger also works on clearing out hordes of enemies. Get down, Featherface! Well, nothing Helmbreaker doesn't fix, though. Shoot him down! Shoot him down! Anyone else? Gotta be smart, gotta be smart, gotta be fast. Go, though I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be staggered by now. Nice kick. Can you see this is getting really ridiculous? Come on, high rate of fire. There we go. Easy. Even if just a little consuming of time. Down we go. It only took us uh, six minutes. Hey, look at that. Back up to 10K. Whoops! <laughs> no wonder that was higher than it should have been. I forgot to grab the thing! <laughs> I forgot to grab a devil heart that's actually in that mission. Whoops. Um, is there a possibility for me to get that later? Because not, I may have just missed that by like an idiot. Anyway, mission 16, chaos ripens as the hunter runs towards the sky. Guy post for the hunters, chapter 12, clause 1. Looks like we're back at Arius's, um... Mansion, shall we say. Let's see, mission 16 has, uh, three secrets. Okay. Easy enough. Now I just need to look up the uh, freaking amulet to see if I can get the one that I missed. Let's see, categories Devil May Cry 2. I am looking for amulet. Here we are.
Uh, no. No, I cannot. So if I have to, uh... Ew. That's annoying. I'm gonna have to redo missions then. Oh, that sucks. Well, it's a good thing I didn't save. Oh, we're in Arius's office. Well, that's fun. But, um... Yeah, I am not accepting that. No, 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 no. Let's actually get the item, because if I don't, then I can't get it for the rest of the game. You know what, actually, I will, rather than buy the orb, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna save. I'm just gonna save up the orb, regardless. Okay, now then. Okay, so this one's a little bit tricky to do, to get. I need to find, let's see, where's the dead eyeball on the wall? Well, this is gonna be fun for me to find. What, wait, is it on the wall or is it one of the mounds? Well, either way, I need to uh, do this. Okay. This one might actually be the most annoying to get, besides the other one. Let's see, we need to look for something. Is this it? It seems that the seal can be broken by hitting it with something. Ah! Okay, so that's why. Wrong one. Oh, auto lock on, you're funny. There we go. Working. Of course, I'm getting my ass kicked trying to do this. Stupid monkeys. That didn't work. That did, though. All right, we got it. Give me this. All right, that's should be the last one that Dante gets. Hopefully. The Chrono Heart, a magic stone with the heart of an old god who has lived for eternity. Now... Time has stopped. Pretty much. Which essentially is how we're supposed to do this quickly. Yeah. <laughs> 
of course, if we don't do this quickly enough, we are going to have to restart anyway. Of course, I wasted a good amount of time just uh, knocking the monkeys into the thing, so... Didn't count. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I gotta do it again because I wasn't fast enough. But in my defense, I was too busy trying to get the Chrono Heart to actually, you know, do it as quickly. deal with the Harpies and the Iron Soldiers. Technically Iron Maidens, but um... Well, actually no, Iron Maidens are stationary. And are filled with spikes. These are just cages. Of course the bitches in this sky are being a fucking pain in my ass. Okay, yeah, we'll just uh, worry about the birds later. Just kill the guys on the ground. Hey, Dante. I'm not gonna argue with your lock-on system. I can't manually switch the auto lock-on anyway. I can turn it off, but uh, I can't swap targets. So I don't think I can. Nah. R2 just sw just turns it off. I mean, if I were to hold the R1 and press R2, I can make something of it. Drop more of those, please, game. Fall on the ground, you stupid bird brain. There we go. Okay, well, I'm a little bit worse for wear on HP, but that's fine. I got the main thing I wanted. And I think we did a little bit faster, just by a couple of seconds. Now I have 2,000, 2,000, 20,000 orbs to spend. Fantastic. Stupid notifications, get off my screen. And then we have the proper mission 16. Uh... Yeah, might as well hold out. We're actually getting close to the end of Dante's campaign anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. 
Don't need this open anymore. Grab this. Let's see, three secrets in this mission. Let me, uh, double check this. Is it three? Let's see, mission 16. And according to this, this is the last uh, mission with secrets in it. Well, when it comes to orbs, anyway. Yeah, after this, we only have two more missions left, and we're done with Dante's campaign. Fantastic. Well, the odds I can exit the... I did not actually mean to get touched by that. Get juggled, bitch. Really, motherfucker? Right as soon as I was able to get the uh, get the freaking A combo, yeah, hit me with that. At least I get my health back. Dumb fools. Alright, so, uh, where do we go first? Uh... Not here is the answer. Uh... Do I have to take the door, or can I go up the stairs? Okay, looks like, uh, yep, we do have to take the elevator. Well, that's fitting for a corrupt businessman. I knew it. Oh, Terra business. Found the upgraded. Whoa! Calm down, ladies and gentlemen. There's more than enough for me for everybody to have peace. Are you ready? Next. Well, there's a divinity statue. You know, this is actually a nice building. I like the decor, and I like the uh, color scheme we got going. This is a nice building, Arius. Your architect actually does a good job. Hope you didn't fire him, or use him for a demonic sacrifice. Oh, hey. Take the health. Uh, we don't need to use the divinity statue right now. <laughs> Daniel. Okay. No enemies. Where is the trap? that Arius has laid out for me. Oh, that looks ominous. Hey, can I go re-enter the door? The mouth is open, leaving a space to place something. Ah. Teleportation puzzle. Got it. Or rather, I need the key to activate the teleporter. And there's said key. Okay, get to the end. I interact with this. Secret room, level 19. Excellent, what am I dealing with? Oh. I 
I think I've seen every type of enemy that this game has. Now, I should probably look at my files real quick. We'll do that after we complete this secret mission. Oh, I think I found the thing that we're supposed to use for, uh... For, a uh, high combo, uh... Upkeep. Yeah, I think the, the way you're supposed to ma- Yeah. Okay, yeah. The fact that they give us a... Devil Heart that allows us to basically slow down time tells me that... This game was intended for you to be played multiple times. Besides the harder difficulties, of course. Let's see, we made it to the end, and we need to pick this up, so might as well grab it. Sacrilege! This will generate distortion and bring the world closer to the demon world. Fun. Now we just head to the full opposite side of the room. Yeah, I think the way you're supposed to uh, get S ranks is to use the Chrono Heart cons consistently. Hello! Man, this game is generous when it comes to full blue orbs. I can't speak for five, but I think Devil May Cry 2 is the only game that actually gives you full blue orbs instead of fragments. This game is definitely nice to people, I'll give you that. Alright, put the thing in the statue. Or the door, I should say. Soon our last secret is in Arius' office. So here's the thing, Pyromancer. If you were to actually, you know, shoot fireballs at me, you probably would hit me. Let's see, which way am I supposed to go? That was a good question. Which way am I supposed to go? Hmm. Now where am I? Oh, we're back here. Well, this is actually a good time for me to see my enemy files. Have I seen? No. A great sorcerer who runs the international enterprise Ouroboros. Ah, Bulwark, the demon warrior who had once fought against Sparta. That's probably why he looks the way he does. <laughs> I think we're just facing his remnants. Or faced his remnants, I should say. Mesmerizing giant moth that dwells in the demon world. The larva of the moth. It waits for its prey burying underground. Having strong magic powers, they chant sinister spells of singing a hymn. Well, yeah, they're fucking ch ch cherubi. Let's see. The highest ranking demon among goat clan. Its body is glossy black instead of reflecting the abyss of sin. Blood goats, goatlings, brontomancers, and evil entity that attacks opponents randomly. They use the unheld orders, blah, 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 blah. Ah, a soul of the dead who had been condemned as a heretic has turned into this evil... Oh, so we're de just dealing with evil ghosts. Neat. This monster controls... The energy that controls this infallible terror, multi is ruthless death. Ah. So we got agony, terror, and... Death itself. Fantastic. Always under the influence of the evil environment, they are stronger than the ones living in the human world. No shit. I'm gonna guess that the rest of this is either bosses coming up or Lucia's enemy enemies. They're specific to her campaign. Okay, now am I supposed to loop back here, or... Or is this a case of finding the correct door? 
I think this is the case of finding the correct door, because I think I just looped on myself. Yeah, I definitely looped on myself. Oh my, you were actually able to hit me with the fire stream attack? All right then. I'm gonna guess this is where I'm supposed to be. So Tagarius has turned his office into a demonic portal. Aha! Okay, so I need to lock on to do that. I figured it out! Alright, you need to lock on to do the coyote combos. Okay, now I know. Hang on a minute. Okay, no. Lock off, or auto lock, is how you do Ebby and Ivory's thing. Locked on is how we do the shotgun combos. Okay. I figured it out. Well, this is a... Yeah, I'd say, it's safe to say we're entering the demon world, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's safe to say. Ah, oh, you're back for a rematch, huh? Okay, this is obviously a harder place to fight Bulwark of the sh close encounters. Okay, I can't see where I am. This is a bad ow. Okay, yeah, this is uh, this is a close encounters kind. Okay, that takes care of one. I just rolled into him like an idiot. Ow! 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 Encountered by the million stab, huh? Okay, Bulwark, it's just me and you, buddy. Nice try, pal. Okay, Bulwark, you are significantly stronger than you were before, but it doesn't matter. Later. I wonder what that is. Uh, I'll pick that up after I grab the health over here. Oh, wow, I forget. <laughs> Apparently, I only fought in half of the arena. Neat. What's this? Another sacrilege. Okay. Let me guess. I put this back into the... D I put this into the door. We go even deeper. Oh, great. Monkeys. Well, you're gonna give me more orbs and increase my, uh... Devil Trigger Gauge, so I guess it all works out. Though I think Arius is running out of demonic minions for me to face. Mother... 
fuckers. Did you seriously just poison me? I did not mean to go back through the air. Seriously, I did not mean to go back through the door. That was my bad. You stupid, stupid monkey. Join Harambe, you son of a bitch. Okay, let's take care of the monkey clan. Moving on. Let's see, what's in here? Okay, we got abyss goats and... Bunch of annoying cupids. You're not the only one who could uh, knock people back, you son of a bitch. The thing is, am I even heading in the right direction? I, I don't know. I'm assuming we have to go find Arius, who's probably in his office. Oh, I guess this was the correct room. Might as well grab this. Ah! I probably would have been teleported back if I did not come in here. Actually, now that I think about it. Wait. Okay, I did not mean to actually do that. Showtime! Well, I'm on the top floor. I don't think I wanted to be on the top floor, but... Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? Well, um... Tris Magia, huh? Oh, I remember you. This boss is annoying because these three fuck faces just fly around.
Unfortunately, because this fight is a long-range fight, the best way to actually do damage is the rocket launcher. And I made a mistake once again, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot to grab something. Mainly because since I entered the elevator by accident, I missed out on the final uh, Devil Heart we could have acquired. Fortunately for you, Trismagia, you are getting fucked. Because I have infinite stinger missiles. Okay, the heads are combining again. That's actually fine. Of course, I don't dodge that one. And by the way, the Devil Heart that I missed is just an elemental one. Which would give me uh, frost elemental attacks. So let's just uh, melt this guy real quick with some BT blasts. I wonder how I'm supposed to avoid that one at close range. I really do wonder how I'm supposed to dodge the uh, electric one at close range. Also, the first time a boss has talked to us, that's not Arius, and the one time that Dante responds. Get out of here, you fuck nugget. Okay, now I'm actually gonna see if I can go back, because there's the end of the level. There we go, controller died. Got DC'd. Well, first off, interact with Farius's chair. Do I need to jump on it? There we go. This is our last secret room. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can re-enter the elevator, because if I can, then that means I can go acquire the Devil Heart. If not, then I'm actually just gonna cut my losses. Really? And now you're starting to piss me off. Oh, and one thing that I uh, learned while looking this up is that the ooh health. It's a good thing I came over here to look. Arius, hello. Is that uh, if I were to swap to the uh, Electro Heart? This actually has a secondary property, where, in Devil Trigger mode, you actually have extra hits. Based on the weapons upgrade level. Oh great, I've been sent to fly. Holy shit, Arius used his gun? And I'm facing an illusion version of him to, for him to do so. Okay, I'm getting my... Yeah, I'm just gonna dodge your slow firing, uh. Revolver. 
Oh, wait, we could actually send him flying. Okay, let's uh, clear out the room of demons and get myself some health back. Okay, so you're just going to be an annoying jackass that teleports around. Yeah, he's going to be doing this. Since I killed all the enemies, he's uh, kind of a man. man. All right, shoot time. Finish off the final enemy. And there's my fragment. All right, and that is the last fragment of the game. Now then, I want to see if I can head back through the elevator. If I can't, then it is what it is. Can I exit? Yes, I can. Okay, I can exit the room, but can I go down the elevator? Yes, I can! Oh, hi, go higher. Okay, that was, uh, that was a bit stupid. Okay, back down here, I just go to the opposite side, stick in the sacrilege, go pick up the thing, come back, and we end the mission, and we're good! Skip all the you fuckers that are not here. Okay. Down here and through here. And I think this is the only area that we haven't been to. Maybe? No, we came back in here. This is not where we need to be. Okay, we already went through this one. Place has already been turned to hell. Already went through here, I think. We came out through there. What about down this corridor? It's like you only have so many places you could try. I think we haven't gone through this one. Aha! Here we are. Okay. Knew I'd find it eventually. I'm gonna guess I uh, hit the switch and take out the ghost that just spawned. The ghost, not the ghost. Deal with the flying assholes. Get on the ground. Or, you know, just fly up in the air and just take infinite rocket launchers to the face. That works too. Mission accomplished. Let's grab my reward. And we get the Frost Heart, a magic stone with a beautiful ice demon. Yay, we now do ice elemental attacks. 
Don't know if the second if there's a second property for this one. And it looks like oh, I think I get it. The Electro Heart has extra hits on the final swing of the normal combo. The Flame Heart, I think, burns enemies for extra damage. While the Ice Heart makes enemies slow down when they're hit. At least I think that's what they do. Now the fun part, trying to remember where the... F the fuck we have to go. Wait a minute. It's not here. Need to head back down. Okay, we're at the crossroads. Okay, in here. It's like, wait a minute. Just go backwards. Just walk back where you were. And of course, the elevator we actually have to activate and not just have it do it automatically. Yep, it definitely slows things down. And that takes care of them. All right. Now to activate the teleporter and get the fuck out of here. Alley oop. Yeah, the D. The D because of my backtracking and because that boss fight takes a while, then a lot longer than it should, in my personal opinion. But I bet if I had upgraded the rocket launcher once or twice, the uh, boss fight wouldn't have taken that long. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me today. I've been NoGod21. In the next episode, we beat Dante's campaign. But until then, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and I will see you all next time.